Martin, do you think we might be getting a 9 to nil vote today? I think it's an outside chance of that, yes. Um, that really, for me, is the only major uncertainty going into this meeting. Uh, remember, of course, we're only three weeks away from the February meeting, which brings not just the meeting, but the inflation report, the press conference, etc. So I think any more material changes probably wait for the February meeting rather than this meeting. And we think today passes relatively uneventfully. Sterling is trading now close to five and a half year lows against the US dollar. Do you think that's justified? Do you think the selling was too intense? I mean, if you take a look at what the market is pricing in, maybe the first hike to come only in 2017. We think that's too dovish. I think the um, realistically there is still a, a, a serious prospect of a rate hike this year and the market has taken most of that risk out. The other problem I think for Sterling is not just the domestic policy story but we find ourselves very much back in a world of risk on risk off markets and risk off markets which we are quite clearly in at the moment tend to be negative for Sterling. So Sterling is not just suffering from the interest rate dynamic but the broader dynamic of market selling risk which yeah. tends to be uh, tends to be negative for our currency. But then at the same same time, Adam, good morning. Uh, the pound falling so much, I mean, that's great news with regards to helping to bring inflation back up towards that 2% target, no? It helps at the margin, though. I think really, if you look at it in a longer term context, sterling has been around fairly valued for some time. And we see small deviations in one direction or the other. Uh, but I don't think it's instrumental for policy. The focus should still really be the domestic news flow. And for me, the, the balance of risk is still that that argues for uh, the rate debate opening up through the course of this year rather than next year, which is where the forward curve now prices it. Um, do you think that there is a chance that we could be moving towards a, a new reality for, for the Bank of England members, that, uh, that we're going to be looking at it being a lot longer than even some of the most bearish forecasts on when we could be looking at, at a hike? I, I think the, the market is there already, and if anything, it's, it's probably pushed that process too far. Clearly, at the margin, the news has been um, positive for rate sentiment, negative for rates uh, over the course of the last month or the last couple of months. Uh, the question is how far the market should be prepared to push that and to uh, have the first rate hike discounted out in the spring of next year, which is where we now find ourselves, uh, I think is probably pushing that process too far. And on balance, the, the, the risks from here are that we go some way towards pricing uh, pricing in um, a more open rate debate through the course of this year.